Hi there, it's Jennifer, and it is time for October Empties. Today is October 31st. I just want to um, give you a little word of warning before this. Um, my husband goes a little bit crazy with decorating for Halloween, and um, he is putting finishing touches on the outside of the house. So in this table, you can't see this, but it's covered with a bunch of stuff that he's still gonna put out here. So he may be coming through. Um, so just, you know, we'll try to ignore that. But I have a few things for October that I finished. It was really crazy because I thought maybe I wasn't gonna be doing an October empties. Did I say favorites? Empties. Um, I thought maybe I wouldn't be doing one, but I had a whole bunch of things that I sort of finished up in the last week and also just to let you know i normally do a favorites video for the month i just didn't have enough things in october to do a favorites video so i decided that i would just um wait and do one um at the end of november so let's get on to the things that i emptied during the month of october so i have a couple of hand soaps by bath and body works i i think every video i talk about some hand soap that i empty because i love bath and body works hand soaps the first one is one that i put in my downstairs bathroom it's a guest bathroom um, it's in the scent um, mandarin blossom absolutely amazing smell yeah Got to the end of it, you know, where you're down to about this much, added water to it and shook it around so I could extend it because it smells so pretty. Um, it really does not have a fall scent at all, but I put it out because of the orange color of the bottle and it kind of matched the decorations that I had out for fall. So finished that one, love it. I would get this again. This one is a kitchen soap by Bath & Body Works. I have several of these. I probably have six or eight of these in this cabinet back here. Um, whenever they have a semi-annual sale, I stock up. This is called Kitchen Lemon. It's an antibacterial, deep cleansing hand soap. It's really nice. It gets rid of scents um, on your, or odors, I guess I should say, on your hands, like um, garlic, onion, things like that when you're cooking. And normally you use a regular soap and you can still smell the garlic. Um, this actually takes the smell away. Another thing you can use, this has nothing to do with hand soap or empties, but, um, but if, if you want to get the smell of garlic off your fingers, you can take anything that's stainless steel. So like if you have a stainless steel knife, just don't use the blade end. You can kind of rub your fingers on it. I even saw years ago, I don't know if she still does this, but Martha Stewart had, it was like a bar of soap. It looked like a bar of soap, but it was made of stainless steel. And so then you just rub it around in your hands and it can, you know, who knew, gets the smell of garlic off. But so does this and I love it and I have more and I always keep it by my sink. So another thing um, that I finished, now if you saw my tag video for the things that I want to finish before the end of the year, you would see that I wanted to, I set a goal for myself of finishing 10 masks, those kind of fabric masks that have all kinds of moisturizing goodness in them. And um, I finished two. I started the, I think I did the tag video a week and a half ago or a week ago or something like that, week and a half. So in the last week and a half um, of October, I used up two of these. One of them is by a company called Dermal. It's a um, Korean company. The other one is a company called Nature. This is a white sea mask, probably my favorite, really nice. Um, consistency of the moisturizing formula. Um, there are two things that I just decided to throw in the towel on um, to not try to finish to the very end. Um, the first one, I gave this one a really good try. This is a Tarina Tarantino mascara and I got this in, I think it was my September BoxyCharm box. Um, as I say in a lot of my videos, I never really have very high hopes for mascaras because I have um, a favorite that makes my lashes nice and thick and look long. And so a lot of them, you know, I just find that I don't like. So I was apprehensive about this. I, I ended up really, really liking this at first. Um, I completely put away, I actually had finished my one of my favorite mascaras, threw, threw that out and decided I was only going to use this until it was gone. Well, I've been using it for probably seven weeks now and it was surprisingly nice and I liked it a lot. 
but it started to dry out really quickly. And I noticed about a month in to using it that it seemed to be drying and then all, and I don't like pump, I don't pump my mascaras to and get air in there or anything. But it also, every time I pull it out, I don't know if you can see this on here, but there's like goopiness on the end down here. And every time I, this was about a month after I started using it, there would just be these big blobs of goop and then chunks, like even, even here, you can see that there's some stuff at the end. And so I was having to wipe it off or it would get um, on my lashes and or drop down on my skin. And um, as much as I liked this mascara at the beginning, um, I just decided that I wasn't even gonna bother finishing it. Um, although it was drying out on me, so I probably didn't have much longer to use this anyway. But I'm just saying bye bye to this. I love Torina Tarantino, Torina Tarantino products. There are lots of them that I use and really like. This one just didn't happen to be one of them. The other one I'm going to throw in the towel on is this one that I got in, I think it was maybe my July BoxyCharm box. And BoxyCharm does all full size products. So you get a chance to really try them out for a period of time. This is a lip and cheek stain by Model Co. When I first got it, it scared me. I wasn't sure I was going to use it. Then I decided I really wanted to use it. And so I started applying it in different ways and, and thought I had it, you know, kind of so that it looked good the way I was applying it. And then I started to notice that when I would be editing these videos, I realized that on the days I was wearing this, I could see well, the color just didn't look great, but also I could kind of see a line where it wasn't getting completely blended in. And this stuff, it's really, really liquidy. And so it's kind of hard to blend in. Like right now I'm wearing a Tarte uh, uh, cheek stain that's sort of like a, you know, comes in like a big fat crayon sort of thing. And I blend that in with a, with a brush and it seems to blend out better. But I just was watching some of these videos as I was editing and I thought, that just does not look good on me. So as much as I tried to use this, and I probably used a little bit more than half, um, I have just decided that, you know, goodbye, sorry. It's a good try, but um, that's the end of that. So then, let's see, what else do I have? Another Bath & Body Works product. This is lotion. Um, this is from their Signature Vanillas collection. They do not always have these available. Um, they just put out their signature scents usually like once a year. I don't know, maybe they do it more often, but I, um, I've kind of seen them once a year. And in their signature vanillas, my very favorite is lemon, which is what this one was. And so um, it has a really nice fragrance. And even though it's lemon, so you would think it would be a lighter smell kind of for spring or summer, because it's mixed with vanilla, it has a much warmer scent to it. Oh, it's really good. Kind of smells a little bit like dessert. So, so I have more of those. Love those. Let's see. Another thing that I used up was a bath fizzy, and I think I might have talked about this in um, last month's video. Oh, it was actually a different kind of bath fizzy. This is from um, an Etsy shop, a company called Bath Fusion Company. Um, you can find their website at bathfusioncompany.com, and um, this particular fizzy was in cucumber mint. So it's very nice, very fresh, and um, I have tons of these. I, I think last year on they had a, there was a Black Friday sale and I bought a ton of them, so I still have a lot. Although if they have another Black Friday sale, I'll probably buy some more. So, um, all right, let's see. I also have this eyeliner, which is pretty old, and I was using this before I discovered all these really amazing cream formula eyeliners that, um, that probably everybody else knew about but me. Um, and, uh, but this is Revlon Color Stay. I will tell you right now, it, first of all, it says it's Color Stay. It is Color Stay. You put it above your eye, or on the top of your lashes and underneath your lower lashes, and it really does a great job of staying throughout the day. The thing it does not do very well is the tight line or the water line. So if you try to get in there, it's not like it goes on and then goops into your eyes. It just doesn't go on. So if that's what you're looking for, <clears throat> this is not <clears throat> the liner for you. But what I did this to kind of did with this to kind of use it up 
was just I used something else in my waterline and my tight line and used this on top just to finish it off. So this is a really, I think it's a decent, if you're not going for a dramatic look or not trying to get the inside of your, um, of your eyes done with liner, then this is a really uh, good choice for a drugstore eyeliner at a fairly reasonable price. And I have two more things. Um, in the past, when I've talked about mascaras that I've been picky about, the one that I was using for a really long time and loved is this um, L'Oreal mascara, and I'm gonna have to put my glasses on to see the tiny print to give you the detailed name of this. Um, if I can even, there's just no way. <laughs> the print on this is so tiny. Oh my gosh, yeah, I can't even tell what this says. But anyway, this was one of their mascaras that was a, it's a volumizing mascara. It's not their voluminous one, it's, I don't know, it says like collagen times 12 or something like that. Um, I really liked this and used it for a long time. I was having a hard time finding mascaras that would make my eyelashes look thicker and longer. And so when I landed on this, I loved it. It's not particularly cheap. It's probably $10 or more. Um, I usually would try to look for it when they were having some kind of a special, buy one, get one 50% off or with a coupon or something like that. But even if I couldn't get it for any less than that, I still would buy this because um, I really, really liked it. I would be still using this brand of mascara had I not found another kind that is my very favorite mascara and that is the Revlon Bold Lacquer and I've got it I have it in um, black and I have it in a, a dark brown formula it's it's actually cheaper I'm not using it because it's cheaper that's just kind of lucky um, for me and um, but it's it just I love it, it works really well. But if you don't happen to like Revlon Bold Lacquer and wanna try another one that's a thickening, volumizing kind of mascara, I would definitely rec recommend this because I've used this for years. And the last one that I have is also one that I got in a Birch Box, not Birch Box, BoxyCharm Box. It was a full-size product. I think it was probably in July, something like that. And um, it is this, uh, S, uh, it's a moisturizer with a SPF 30 sunscreen in it. It's by Pure Lease, P-U-R-L-I-S-S-E. Um, when I first opened this up in a box, my BoxyCharm box, I remember being pretty flabbergasted that a 1.7 ounce bottle of moisturizer was $55. But I um, had decided that, you know, of course I was gonna use it. I paid for it in that box. And so I, I used this every single day from the time I got it in July all the way up into October, July, August, September, October. So for three months, I used this every day. It, it, it does have a sunscreen, so I was only using it in the morning. This particular one is for normal to dry skin, and it's a broad spectrum sunscreen, SPF 30, I think I said that. But um, anyway, I really liked this a lot. I was sad when I was squeezing, you know, folding up the tube and getting the very last bit out. I was, there was a little part that was um, of me that was sad that I was finishing up because I really liked using it. I'd been using it for several months. It feels really nice going on. It's very smooth, makeup smooths over it really nicely, has a nice light scent. You know, all this stuff that made this a really good product. I didn't stay sad too terribly long though because the very next day I went back to using CeraVe which gives you a three ounce bottle for 12 bucks and it felt just as nice. <laughs> so, so anyway, this is really good. If you're into spending a lot of money on a moisturizer, well, I don't know, $55 for a 1.7 ounce bottle compared to $12 for a three ounce bottle, you know. So if you're into spending a lot of money, then, then I would say go for this because there's not a darn thing wrong with it and it's really nice, feels great. I love it, um, but I love the other one better because it feels the same and it's cheaper. So, all right, so that's it. Those are my, um, those are my empties for October. 
and um, I'll be back in November with probably some more empties. I'm sure I'm going to finish a few things up between now and then. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, if you had any um, things that you used up this past month that you particularly loved, feel free to comment in the little area below. And I sure hope you will subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Um, so thanks for watching, you guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Busy Being Jen. Bye-bye.